Welcome back, welcome back. How are you? How was your new year? You feeling good? You feeling refreshed? You ready for a big old 2024? Feels like I haven't seen you since last year. <laughs> You're so funny. You make great jokes. Don't be like me. Don't make that joke. So today we have got a jam-packed video full of wild things, awesome stuff, maybe a pet or four or none. We might even have some bossing, some levels. Who knows? Because I recorded this stuff in October 2023. <laughs> but as of right now, it is still 2023 for me. It is almost New Year's and I'm still playing leagues. Um, so that comes to an end in a few weeks time. So still not really got any content from leagues other than these kind of uh, fluffer videos that I put in while I ramble away of me doing various things on leagues. Right now I'm killing Leviathan and getting spooned stuff that I don't need and don't want. Um, so I'm hoping that in the next couple of weeks, once Leagues has finished, it's died down, I have made it to Rune tier, maybe pushing Dragon tier, I don't know, I'm currently just below Rune tier, um, that I'll be able to get back to our regularly scheduled content with me killing normal game stuff and doing normal game things so that I can record it all. Um, but I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you get, I don't know where this is going, don't know what I was going to say. Right, if I do this quick enough, we should get a little chunk of dopamine and it's going to feel good. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by fletching this broad arrow, 91 fletching, smith plate legs, come on. 88, teleport to Ardoin. Quick, pickpocket a guard. Bosh, 93. So that's 91 fletching, 88 smithing, 93 thieving. Boya! That felt good. That felt good. Alright, next up on the list of things to do today, we're going to do another part of the desert diary tasks. So, fletch some dragon darts at the Bebedin camp. That's the next one. So I've got me dragon fruit pie to get me to 95. And I've got me dragon dart tips and me feathers. I'm going to fletch as many of as I can. Should be in the right place now. So let's eat the pie. And bosh. Elite task finished. So that is one of the two desert diary tasks we need to do. So it's just 85 prayer now. But... I can't be asked to do that right now, so I'll do that another time. I know I just said I couldn't be asked to do this, but I went to my bank, I saw I had a load of uh, insult heads, so I literally just polished them off, so that's good. Um, and I think it got me from pretty much just into 84 to halfway, or over halfway to 85, so that's not too bad. Um, but what it means now is that I have to go to the wilderness and use all of the bones that I've got in my bank at the Chaos Altar, which I do not want to do. So I'm probably going to put this on the back burner for now. Right, luckily Matt has asked me to do a general Grodor trip. So now we have a specific excuse not to train prayer in the wilderness. So that's good. So I'm going to get my best in slot together might give you a little recap of what it uh, what it is but I'm pretty sure we only need the tacits and the pet from here yeah tacits pet um, we don't have any tacits at all as a team so it would be pretty good to get that now so let's hope we get spooned as promised here is the best in slot melee gear we have so got the helm it's pretty much all it's just full melee gear with the carols leather skirt because Matt is going to tank for me because he's lovely. So we've got the fang, helm, don't have the joy yet which is pretty upsetting. Uh, fire cape, we've got the fury, blessing, defender, bandos chest 
and then we've got ferocious gloves and prims with the lovely imbued berserker ring uh, and then in the invent we've got two super combats two prayers six sour brews six super restores some food mage swap uh, and then we've got the gommels the bgs and the hammer to get in uh, and I've decided also to bring not only Bloods in the runes, but um, I bring an Ice Barrage as well. So, let's go get a kill count. Right, we've got the kill count now. I only need 35 because I've got the hard combat achievements done. Um, and just to confirm, because I can see you ferociously typing, don't take a Rada's Blessing. Take an Unholy Blessing instead, because I just took a shed load of damage, which is why I'm hiding in this corner now. So, don't be like me. Be smart. Here we are, kill number 300. What are we gonna get? Nothing, not a surprise. Come on, Tassets, come to me. That is us done at General Grodor for this trip. So I think we did about 50 or 60 kills. Didn't get anything of note. So we're still uh, dry on those Tassets. I keep saying we're dry, I don't think we are. But it feels like we are. I think it's like 200 kills since we got something good before. But, you know. Following the disappointing Garador trip, we're going to do some forestry. So, Forestry Part 2 came out and released another couple of collection of slots. So, the Golden Pheasant Egg and the Petal Garland. But now, the Sturdy Beehive parts have also come out. So, I think they were supposed to come out with Part 1. Uh, with Part 2. Point 1, I guess. But they didn't. They came out a week later in Forestry 2.2 or whatever. Uh, so none of the drop rates have been released for any of this stuff. So not entirely sure. But I guess we're just going to wing it. There they are. That didn't take long. Uh, as far as I understand it from people chatting here at these trees. These are the easiest ones to get. You don't need any items for it other than the logs. And they're relatively common. So good. Got myself an elite clue from Chopping Magics. So uh, I decided to come here to Hellhounds to get myself a hard clue. And it took me three kills. So that's, that's pretty good. I like that. I like a bit of good RNG finally. Uh, I like to do Hellhounds in the catacombs because I still need uh, the totem pieces for Skatizo. And I also need ancient shards for the uh, arc light. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and get myself a medium and I'm going to get myself an easy clue. And I also always take my Ash Sanctifier with me because getting that, pass that passive prayer XP is top tier. Absolute top tier. I'm waiting with bated breath for those judgy comments in the comments section because my favourite way to do medium clues is at stone chests. I know 1 in 100 at stone chests or 1 in 25 at puro puro but I really appreciate the thieving XP you get from here because I mean look you get about 280 XP a time so that's pretty good that's not that's not so bad I don't fail that often and I'm 93 thieving and a couple of those levels have been from this from these chests so you know I, I like it I think it's good Going straight from bigging up stone chests to going two times dry for the medium clue. Perfect. But like I said, theme and XP is good. And the crafting supplies are not too bad. Yeah, I've got some uncut stuff for crafting. I've got some fletching supplies. So I would say, in all, this isn't bad. Medium clue scroll obtained. That took a while. I mean, I, I got loads of XP, so yeah, who cares? But... I think it was over 200 chests opened, about 60 something K XP overall, um, but you know, I enjoyed it, I got XP, that's all I really cared about, and uh, got a little bit more supplies. Uh, so now we're going to go and get ourselves an easy clue, well that was a hell of a lot easier, uh, we got the easy clue in 13 pickpockets, so that was uh, far quicker than the medium clues but let's go and get these turned into a master we've begun the master clue and unfortunately we've now gone to Phalo the Bard this guy usually worries me when doing master clues because there are two steps that I can't do with him the first is the armadillo helm and the next one is the fighter torso 
mainly because I was super lazy and didn't bother doing a barbarian assault. But that's besides the point. So what have we got? Socket on. Perfect. I can do that one. That's what we like to see. Okay, nobody panic. Nobody panic. Stop panicking. Nobody panic. Stop it. No. Stop panicking. Oh. Whatever, lady. Well, something kind of happened while I was on my laptop. So quite a lot of the time I do play on the, my laptop and on my phone when I'm like you know, hanging out with a girlfriend, watching stuff on TV or whatever. Um, and I don't have any recording software on either of those things. So if I do end up getting drops and things by accident there, I can only apologise. But I did get a big one yesterday. It's quite big. And you can see here, 740. So what happened was, while I was cutting trees, trying to get the bloody golden egg, I got the beaver. I finally got the beaver. I'll put the screenshot up on the screen. I'm pretty sure I've got about 13 and a half million woodcutting XP to get it. Um, so it's pretty big. That's my first skeleton pet on this account. Kind of wish it was on the other account, but here we are. And I also got the fox whistle not long ago. So boom. That looks so cool. That looks so cool. I love foxes. This is going to be, this isn't going to change. There's no way this is becoming the pheasant or anything or any, you know, different version of the beaver. This is how it's going to stay forever. Dryad event. Stood on one relic and then it broke. So now you just chop away at the trees until she decides to leave. And obviously not give me the petal garland in the process of messing with me and then just leaving. So that's fun. Me and the boys are going to run a tombs. We uh, don't really tend to do any more than 220. I think that's the highest we've done so far. Because we uh, don't really have the gear or the skill level for it. Uh, but And we only really tend to do one anyway. So let's see what we, uh, what we can do. Right, can we get a purple? No. Of course not. Uh, 45 minutes was a bit slow, but you know, we're getting better. We're working on it. Let's see what crap we get out of here. Yeah, nothing useful. So, in here, we currently have 80 completions uh, between normals and entries. And we don't have any of the. I've got none of the jewels. That seems unfair to me. That seems dry. I, d I really don't understand this pheasant egg. Like, why? Why is it so rare? And if it's not that rare, why haven't I got it yet? I'm sure I've got like two and a half, three thousand searches of these things. Like it's just, I think it's just a bit silly. You, you don't, what? it's just a cosmetic thing. Like, why does it need to take so long? So quite embarrassingly, I have not done this event, the Halloween event. It is now 13th of November, so I am quite behind. But I've just been, obviously, thinking about the 100% and things I'll do to, to, and things I'll need to do to get there. And one of those is obviously getting all of the emotes. So I have got quite a lot of these already, but one of them is this new one. Uh, for doing the event. Now, I'm not sure if we get it at the end or the start. I've not really bothered to have a look, to be honest. I was just going to go through with it and uh, see where we get. But I can't believe I, I usually do these things. For some reason this time, I just, just didn't bother. And there you have it. I literally just did the main people that you had to speak to. Obviously got my sweet Halloween costume on. So now we can use the uh, trick emote. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not the best one, but definitely up there. Right. Time to do something 
new. So we're going to do Corrupted Gauntlet. And in here, we've got four Crystal Armor Seeds, seven Crystal Weapon Seeds. And we still need the Enhanced Crystal Weapon Seed and we still need the Young Bluff. So we've done 147 Corrupted Gauntlet KC, 12 regular Gauntlet. So then I'm going to see how many I can do without stressing out and breaking something. Uh, hopefully we can get this ASAP because we really do need the Bofa because we want to do a lot of content which would be which would be made 10 times as fast if we had the Bofa. So let's let's crack on, let's do it. So I'm going to take you through a typical kill. So in the top left I've got the uh, the gauntlet plugin on which tells me handily what things I'll need. So I've set it for a tier 2 prep. So I'll need 7 of the ore, 7 of the bark, 7 wool, 2 herbs, 20 fish, roughly 520-ish crystals, uh, 2 weapon frames, and then I like to use ranged and mage. So I've got the bowstring and the orb set. Um, and then what I like to do is very similar to what's recommended on the wiki. Um, from the starter room, I go in a kind of 0 shape away from where the where the Hunliff is um, and just collect all the supplies I can make my way back round to the to the main room once we're back in the main room I will make um, essentially a weapon whether it be the the staff or the bow and I'll get two empty vials I'll then fill those vials with water and sometimes I'll have the herbs ready sometimes I won't but once I've got those I'll put those in uh, and then I will use the pestle and mortar to put those into the potion I'll then run the shortest route to the edge of the map um, and hope that it's either the dark beast or the dragon and this will give me uh, the bowstring um, and then once I've got this one I will run essentially around the edges of the map until I've collected the rest of the stuff besides the fish um, and then I'll use my crystal teleport seed to teleport me back to the main room where I will then collect the 20 or so fish that I need. If I come across the same enemy that I just killed, so for example here two dark beasts next to each other, this dark beast will have a chance of dropping any of the parts that you'll need, whether it's the spike, the orb or the bowstring. Um, so it's always good to either take the risk in killing this and hoping you get your thing. For example here I've got the spike which I don't want to use, or you could just skip this and hope that the next room along has the dragon in it but in this case I took the risk it didn't pay off but I'm going to make my way around now anyway so there's the dragon killed pick up the orb I typically will have one sip of my Agneol potion before I go in to fight the Hunlith, usually because I've run out of run energy. Um, and then what I'll do now is teleport back to the main room, make all my armor, perfect all of my weapons if I've managed to. I tend not to panic if I've only got one perfected. Sometimes I'll go in with one perfect weapon and one attuned weapon, and that's usually okay. Um, and then what I'll do now is I'll fish get roughly 16 to 20 fish if I can and get those cooked once all the fish are cooked I'll use any remaining crystals to make the 
combo eats the paddlefish the cryptid paddlefish um, and what I like to do is have the Honleth helper plugin turned on as well um, because the Honleth helper plugin will essentially there's a guy who talks to you and reads out uh, two one ranged and you swap to range and then it'll go to one mage and you swap to mage makes it a bit easier so you have to keep track of it all all the time um, and then typically here depending on how the world of runs gone um, I'll finish this with a couple of sips of egg nail potion left bits of food left um, obviously it's not the most efficient way to do this you can do the five one method and all this other sweaty stuff uh, but I just like to take it easy enjoy it myself um, so I just I stick with this method because it's a bit easier and it's a bit smoother to master than the uh, sweatier versions I find this quite fun. It reminds me kind of Dungeoneering from RS3. And I liked Dungeoneering quite a lot. Um, so yeah, pretty fun overall. Uh, and then once you've finished, you open the chest and as per usual, you get absolutely nothing. But I hope that was a quite a nice little crap guide to use. That's 155kc now. That makes eight kills. Let's see if we can get something good. No. I think there's about a 50% chance to have the enhanced by 200 KC, I think it is. And then I think it goes up to about 80% chance by 400 KC for the crystal weapon seed. So... You know, we're still below 200, so I'm not fully expected to get it. But it's always nice to to get a spoon, isn't it? Look at this. Look at that. Look what I did. Oh, so, so stupid. I, I, I'm going to continue to make this mistake over and over again, by the way. So I was downstairs with the girlfriend, watching South Park, as you do, doing a bit of herb law. And I was like, oh. I'm one action away from getting 89 herb law and getting 2100 total level. So what I'll do is I'll do some farming instead while we finish off watching South Park. And then I'll go upstairs and I'll record getting 89 herb law. But while I was doing my farm runs, I accidentally clicked on one of the Ranar herbs that I had and cleaned it and got the level. And here we are annoyed about it annoyed with myself but it looks cool anyway so look at that perfect love it i need to do some shooting stars and when i came to my bank to get my pickaxe out i noted that i had about 500 and something maybe it was 700 uncut diamonds so i decided oh, i'll just cut a load of those um and that'd be good to get just a, a bunch of XP um, but then what I didn't realize was that I was so close to a crafting level that BAM there you go 82 does that get us anything mm, not really I can make onyx necklaces so oh no I can make a bow for now damn that would have been embarrassing if I'd uh, actually got a bow for and then came here and realized I couldn't craft it but there you go that's good so as soon as we get that bofa we can now make it well we're winding down now it's currently 2 30 in the morning I'm getting through all of these uh, 
sapphires, emeralds, rubies, diamonds. I've been going through the whole lot. Uh, but I think this is probably about where this video ends. So we got a bit of stuff done. A few levels. A couple of collection log slots. Um, some big ones actually, which is great. Uh, I'm a bit bored of leagues now, so I think I'm going to get back into the swing of the group iron. I've been quite excited actually to, to come back to it after doing leagues. Uh, I've done a lot of content on leagues that I wouldn't normally have done on this one, just because I don't have the, the gear for it. Um, but what that means is now is that we can start putting more time and more effort into this series uh, and obviously the chunk series will still go ahead I play both of these accounts at the same time all the time uh, whether I'm on my laptop or on my computer um, so I guess all that's left is to again thank you all for watching thank you all for getting involved being a part commenting uh, I am taking on board as many comments as I can uh, you know first and foremost with this right now it's not blurry which you're probably almost used to now because uh, it was hurting people's eyes and although most of you will be like who cares what, what does that matter it mattered to me so that's what I've done and I'm maybe taking on board another comment where someone was saying that I should start videos with kind of goals and I'm not really a, a goal kind of person I guess because when I come on to play and you can probably tell by the videos already I kind of just do whatever whatever I feel like and it usually swaps around quite a bit like I'll be it uh, I'll be at Hunliff and then all of a sudden I'll be at Kraken and then I'll be doing crafting and then I'll be doing farming and then you'll find me at Barbarian Assault and that's, you know, these videos are kind of chronological so usually it will, uh, that'll be just a day <laughs> and I've just done all that stuff in in a day but anyway, please let me know if there's anything that you think I should do anything that make your viewing or listening experience better and if it aligns with what I want to do then perfect I'll include it but again thanks everyone and I will see you guys very very soon